In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to make a game over screen. So when uh, instead of just restarting the game, you go to a game over screen or play a bit of music and then return you back to the first level. In order to do this, uh, I need to create a kind of uh, bit of graphics for the game over. And what I've done is I've just generated a logo with game over written on it. To make this, I used uh, Cooltext.com, and Cooltext allows you to create some quite funky uh, looking logos. Uh, so that's what I uh, used to create it. So I then created a room with game over in it. So all I did was I simply created a sprite, I created an object for it, and I simply just created a blank room and shoved it in there. Okay, so very, very uh, straightforward. If I'm just going to maximize this slightly, so you can see here, it, all it is is an object. Now, next thing I need to do is obviously put a little bit of code in there. I've also, uh, just before we move on, is I'm going to add a new piece of music. Uh, I'm just going to load it up. So when it comes through, um, you'll have some music playing which is different. Okay, so I'm going to have that as background music. And I'm going to call this game over music. Uh, I haven't particularly chosen any a great one, but it will be good for uh, what I want to do. So I've opened up the game over object. Now, what I want to do is I want it um, to display the game over screen for a little bit and then simply go back to the first level. So I'm going to use the create event. So the second the room opens up, I want it uh, to stop the sound so I'm just going to uh, find that. So the reason I'm doing stop sound is because at this moment in time the background music will still be playing. So I want to stop the background music I then want to uh, start playing music again and I want to play the game over music. Okay, I don't want to loop that. I'm also going to set an alarm. Now the reason I'm setting an alarm is because I want to see um, game over displayed for a certain amount of time and then flip over. So I'm going to set this to be 800. Uh, actually I'm going to make this smaller uh, just so we don't, I'm not waiting too long when I demonstrate it. I also need to create an event uh, for alarm zero and this what time I will make it restart. Okay, So I'm going to add the restart. So the restarts now uh, going to happen after 600 steps rather than happening the second you touch a bomb or the second you uh, you know, hit a ghost or something like that. In order to make this fully work I need to go back to my game and instead of restarting the game um, I'm going to just delete these and I'm going to replace it with uh, a go to different room which is this one here and I'm going to select the uh, last room, I'm going to choose an animation. I'm going to do the same for Ghost. So I'm going to delete the restart. I'm going to go to a different room. I'm going to choose room two. I haven't named my rooms, which is a bit remiss of me. I should really do that. Because um, uh, if you have too many rooms, uh, it will get confusing the same way as it gets confusing um, for your sprites and objects. So I'm going to choose room two and then a transition. And that's done. So if I test this now, so my game is working as per normal. So you can see it's now game over. Play this for a bit. And you see, then we start the game. 